Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new here, my name is Dion. I'm a photographer here in New York City. I urge you guys to please subscribe to the channel. I make videos like this all the time and I also have my work, what I do on my social media, that's IG, that's Twitter, is linked below for your convenience. Okay, so I'm very excited because this week, this week, all week long, well, <clears throat> at least for the next four days after this video is posted, so five days this week, I'll be posting videos of me reviewing concept photos and teaser photos. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, I started this series where I review K-pop concept photos because um, my favorite thing about K-pop is the concept photos. I'm a photographer and I just love to see the photography, the outfits, the lighting, the styling, everything they do to, to, to promote their new album, their new comeback. I just I just love it. It's just the best time every time. Um, but as you may have not seen if you're new, I've also been reviewing photo shoots from magazine editorials that the idols have been doing. And I've been doing more of those than the concept photos, especially lately. Um, they're just a bit easier to, to find the images. They're, um, they're not as long. Cause you know, sometimes when idols have comebacks, they have, you know, 14 images per member, three different concepts per comeback. And it's a lot to even dive into. So I've been kind of avoiding and also for most comebacks, well, I guess for the older ones, it's hard to find high quality images. So I've been like, mm, I don't want to have low quality, you know, images in my videos. But sometimes that can't be helped. Like today, we have um, we're doing ATs, ATs is what's let's let's see. Oh, AT zero, fever epilogue concept photos. Now, some of these may be a little bit low quality, but you probably can't tell. Oh, you probably can't tell on the screen once the images pop up. But it may be slightly blurred, so I do apologize for that. But that's one of the reasons I haven't done many um, concept photo shoots reviews because I'm just I can't find the high quality images. But luckily, I found a website that has mostly high quality, so I'm excited to um, get into these different groups. Now, subscribe. If you haven't done so, subscribe because I have a bunch of different groups I'm checking out, a bunch of different concept photos. I'm just so hype. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so first image. Um, also, before we start, actually, for real, before we get into this image you see up here, I don't know the members of ATs. I know. I know. I still haven't learned anyone, but I think in this photo shoot, they have the names up. So hopefully this helps me learn them, but I haven't learned anyone just yet. So if I butchered anyone's name or anything like that, please forgive me. Give me a nice correction in the comment section below. Uh, with that being said, let's get to the photo. Okay, okay, okay. This is giving me almost, it's giving me collegiate school vibes, I believe. Like the alumni coming back after they've been away for some time, like a, a school reunion. If no, not a school reunion, maybe it's, it's like a reunion, but not too far in the future. It's giving me 70s vibes based on the aesthetic of the photo and the outfits. It's very eclectic. We got a bunch of layering, we got sweaters, jackets, um, suspenders. It's also giving me like a newsboy, like a 19, what, what year, what time was that the 1800s you know like what's that error like with sherlock holmes and them <laughs> jack the ripper all of them <laughs> it's giving me that kind of vibe with these outfits um and i'm sure we'll see it up close in the individual photos but here um i kind of live for but i also kind of don't because some of this some of these um some of these patterns are clashing with other things like homeboy at the end with the brown and then the checkered and mixed checkered sure i don't know his name yet but and then in these pants with his leg warmers it's definitely a choice it's definitely a choice i mean all the other members are giving us almost like church attire with these slacks they better go to church with these slacks on but yeah let's get into the other images next image we have Wu young okay i love this first of all i love the eye makeup it's not too subtle, but it's not too crazy, crazy. You know what I mean? Um, he's holding a Polaroid or Instax photo in his mouth, and I have one as as as, as well. And I love the instant photo aesthetic, so I love that he has that. Um, this a blue. It's like almost not teal, but like a light powdery blue. I love this color. I love this color on him. 
this blue color he has on with his shirt. Now it's interesting though, because it, it goes into a, it's a blue and it goes into this brown sleeve. And I think on its own it would have been a serve, but he has his like Adidas tracksuit underneath, and it's very interesting. Interesting. Oh, I just noticed this. I just noticed this. His patch is the ATs thingy. Okay, I like that. A little detail. Because I like when they have like motifs of their comeback on their clothing. Typically with these idols, especially recent idols, you know, we, recent groups, they'll wear like designer stuff like Balenciaga or Gucci. And it's not that custom to what they got going on with their comeback. But sometimes they'll add certain things or do something with their clothing to kind of weave it into the comeback, either with the um, the type of text they're using for their names or the comeback or like this, this little patch looks like a shield i'm into that i'm really into that and i'm into this earring he got on he has he has an earring up here and one is kind of like looped it ooped right here at the bottom I don't know if you guys can see that but it's like and then over here i wonder okay does does he have a piercing is that a cartilage piercing up here or is it just a clip on up here because i think this one down here is real i think the other one's real too but i think this might be a I, I always assume they have like clip-on earrings, but I'm more inclined to believe that their ears are pierced at least down here, at least down here, um, versus the cartilage. Because I feel like that's I just I feel like that hurts too much. I, I never had that pierced before, but I just imagine that hurting. You know, I imagine that that everyone is doing a cartilage piercing, especially a K-pop idol. But you guys will let me know. Next image we have Jong Ho. Is that you pronounce his name? <clears throat> now. I absolutely love these glasses, like with a burning passion, because as you can tell, I wear glasses and I've been loving those circular round glasses lately. And I wish I had a pair because I just love the aesthetic. I just love that round. Like it just, especially when they're like large like this, I'm into that. Um, as far as the outfit goes, I like a beret. I do. This one is like comically large and I'm kind of like, what is going on here? But I'm also kind of like, is this camp? Am I living? <laughs> now I will say the colorway of his sweatshirt is my fave. I never thought to see I never thought I'd like to see something like this on someone with the it has two two color pattern. It has the the burnt sienna and this orange. But then you go down, you get to the orange again, but then it goes into a yellow and into a blue. To me, that's so odd, but so right. I love that. I love that. He also has a Polaroid of himself. Love piece of chicken grease. I like this. I don't know if I recognize him, because there's some members of ATs I can't recognize if I saw them on the street. I don't think I'd recognize him, but I guess once I get to know the group more and learn the members more, I can, I'll can. i probably be able to point him out. Because um, there are some members I can just, re I, oh, he's an AT. Like, if I saw them in the street, like, oh, they're from ATs. I can definitely. But then again, it, that might have to do it because there, there was like maybe one or two members at KCON. They were in that little glass container thingy in the middle of KCON. I remember walking by. And he's like in the glass dancing. You know, that's when that's when they were really like starting to blow up. And people were like just living for them. And they were at KCON. And I saw I walked past and he was like, hey, and I was like, oh, OK. Who was that? Though? I don't remember who that was, but that was living. Next image, we have Sigwon. Is that how you pronounce his name? Now, he is one of the members that I can recognize if I saw them on the street. And he looks like two other members. There's like, I think there may be four members of, of ATs that look very similar. They have a similar height, similar look to them. Um, and then he's one of the one of the four. I think there might be three, actually. But it might be four. I'll, I'll see. Was it that first one? Was he one of them? They all they look like they might be in the same realm. They all look like models, actually, low-key. Um, this image right here is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. This makeup, I am living my best life. It matches his hair, which that hair color is sickening. The hair styling is everything. It's giving me Final Fantasy, and I'm here for it. The makeup being like the, um, what's it called? Ingari with a little blush, blush across the face. Whoever decided to do that, y'all better work. Y'all better work. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. I want to photograph him. Look at the lips. Look at the nose. Look at the jaw. I like the scarf around the neck. Little choker moment. We got the we got the bomber jacket with the you know the the ATS patch. I'm here for it. This is my favorite so far. Um, now I don't have a bias, but 
he might take that cake. He might take that cake with this photo alone. With this photo alone, I'm obsessed with this. In the brows, they're so they're not thick, thick brows. I like th- a thick brow, but they're not thick. But they're, they're, the shape of it is so is it's like, it's like a pen. Well, a thicker than a pen because they're not tiny, but they're like a the stroke is very pen like or brush like. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm oh this is everything. This is everything. Next image, Hyosung. Is that you pronounce his name? Let me know below. Um, this member, I, I, I don't think I can recognize him. Or I don't think I, I would have before. But I think since the, um, what's that comeback they did? Uh, Deja Vu. Deja Vu. I believe he was the one who did the little shoulder shimmy in the choreography. At least the, he was a focus in the music video. And I was like, who is this? I think that was him. I think that was him. He might have had teal hair in that comeback. Or maybe it was black. I don't remember clearly. But I remember... I think that was him who did a little shoulder shimmy. He was getting a little cunty with it. I was like, oh. Um, again, this, I love, love, love the makeup. I, I just, K-pop idols and their makeup I, I, is always, always my fave because it's like a, it's always this eyeshadow. Sometimes it's a gradient. Sometimes it'll have like a, a, a darker color in the middle or even glitter in the middle and then it, it gradients out to another color that's slimmer to it. It's a nice little fade. Or they'll do something like this where it's one solid color around, like a, like a smoky eye. This control is not too crazy. It's still in the same. It's in this like a simple realm. It's not all like up, up on their um up to their eyebrow, um and I like I like it. This outfit, I'm into it. Now this brooch on this hat is um it's it's there. It's mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't make out what he's doing exactly in his little Polaroid thingy, but he's doing something like this. I think. Um, I like his, oh, his ears stick out, his ears stick out, I'm living for that, they are sticking out, he better work, I love when the ears like stick out, or they're, they're large, that, that, that's, it just, I don't know why, I think because there's these two actors from Thailand named Mike and Top Tap, um, Mike has large ears, and Top Tap has ears that stick out, and I just, it, it, it's, it's so cool to see those types of, um, ears on people. I think it's so interesting, especially when they have like jewelry on it. They, they really cater to the jewelry. The ears cater to the jewelry or vice versa or both. <laughs> I'm here for that. Next image, Hong Jung. Hong Jung. Is that you pronounce it? He's one of the members that I can recognize and he he looks similar to the old boy. What's that guy's name? Sick one. He looks very similar to him. Now, they're not identical, obviously, but they have a similar aesthetic of similar, similar face shape, like that long jaw type of face. Um, I like this look. It's a little dorky, nerdy look with the round glasses. I'm really here for it. I'm here, to, I'm here for this, like, crosshatch uh, pattern, plat, the plaid he has on. Um, he's giving me, like, 80s nerd with the suspenders and everything. I'm into this one. I'm into this one. He's another contender for bias. He's another contender. He, I, I'm, I'm into this. I'm into this. Next image, we have Han Ho. Yun Ho. Han Ho. Oh, my God. I can't read. Yun Ho. Let me know if that's correct. Um, this hair color, I like. The hairstyling, mm, I wish... I just wish the part that, like, right here, the, where the bangs are at, I wish it was a little more separate. I want to see more forehead. I want to see a bit more forehead. Now, his makeup, he's more fair than the other members, I think. I think they're all a similar skin tone, I guess. He didn't seem as bronzy, so I you can see... Um, is it blush? If it's not a red tone? It has a similar Ngari makeup on his face, but it's a brown. I'm into that. It's different from everyone else. I'm into it. And you can see even the brown. Maybe that's bronzer. I'm not familiar familiar with the makeup terms or, or uh, um, items, but I think it might be like a bronzer type of thing. Um, I'm into it. It's definitely schoolboy vibe he's giving. Um, even though I do wish the hair was parted a little bit more in the middle, see more forehead, I do love, love the hair color. It's like, it's giving me kind of like Lindsay Lohan and Freaky Friday when she had her red hair, but she had like those blonde highlights in it. It's giving me that kind of vibe. It's giving me that kind of vibe, and I'm, I'm into it. I'm into it. Come on, blonde. Next image, Son. He's another one that looks similar to the other two. 
So it might be so far we got three for three. If there's one more member that looks like them, then we won. <laughs> then we found the four. I was like, I don't know who, who which four looks like they they belong in the same type of group, but we're, we got we got number three. Um, this outfit I like. Now I do find it not hilarious, but kind of funny that he seems. Very serious in this. He seems very, like, not stoic. Deadpan. That's the maybe that's the word I want to use. Deadpan. Now I'm noticing his. Is he lifting his eyebrow up? Am I tripping? It seems like maybe it's the angle because it seems like one eyebrow is like way up here. Is that? Maybe he's just lifting one eyebrow up, one eyebrow up, but you can't tell because it's. Am I tripping? <laughs> Am I tripping? Now I don't want to make fun of this man if his eyebrows are just you know different, different planes of existence. But maybe he's just lifting his eyebrow. I don't know. You guys let me know. But I like the outfit, the hair color. It may have to grow on me. Like I don't dislike it, but maybe I don't like this length or. The styling of it, I think maybe if the hair was coiffed up, I would like live for it. But since it's kind of like a downward messy vibe, I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not really living. Um, but I love this outfit, this over jacket and this turtleneck. That's a good combo. That's a good combo. I'm into that. Next image, and we found number four. I knew there's four members. It's him and Mingi. Wait a minute, is he my bias? Is he because this hair color, y'all? Now he was the one. Yeah, he's the one with that jacket. I don't. I guess I don't mind the jacket. See, the whole look with those leg warmer pant thingies, I just was not living. But a portrait waist up, I could, I could get into it. Yeah, it's a busy pattern. It's a bunch of bunch of plaid, different types of sizes with this, but it's kind of working in this context of being cropped because <laughs> that full body, ooh, a lot. Um, I am living for his hair. I love when they, when idols style their hair like this. I love when they style their, I'm not sure what this hairstyle is called, but I am living. I've seen very, I've, I've seen different variants of this type of hairstyle every time I live. Mm -hmm. Every time I live for it. Every time. And I love, 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 love his nose. And the jawline. Come on, lips. Okay, out of the four, who is the bias? Out of the four, who is the bias? It's either him or Seguan. Cause they, they look the most similar, so I have to pick between the two. I don't even know. I don't even know, y'all. And typically when I pick my bias, it's who I want to photograph the most. Yes. I do consider their talent and what they contribute to the group, but you know, for groups I'm not really familiar with, it's hard for me to pinpoint that. You know what I mean? But ATs, I'm gonna have to really, really get into them. Really, really get because I love Inception. That's, that's my jam. I watched that video again. I'm, I love that video. It was great and Deja Vu. Oh my gosh! I have to watch it after this. But I also want to find a bias. You, you, you guys, let me know who your bias is, and maybe that can help me out and tell me why they're your bias, and then I can kind of, you know. See what I can see how I'll figure out figure out how I can make my bias come to the light because I don't know who it is. <laughs> Next image. Okay, so this image right here, I'm into it. It's giving uh, the other images gave old school schoolboys. This is giving me modern day. It's giving me modern day. It's giving me delinquent vibes. These big old pants and these Air Forces and his hair. I love the hair. It's like, it's like shaved underneath. It's like a swoop bang in the front. I'm into this. I'm into this. Next image. Oh my gosh. This pink hair and the pink brows. Yo, we have to stand. Because this is a look. Come on now. This is a look, y'all. Every time these idols do a pink hair, I'm always loving. Especially, especially when they do like a peachy pink. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. They're, they're my favorite automatically. I don't care if, if, where my bias is. Sorry for this comeback. Whoever has the pink hair <laughs> wins. Next image. Is this homeboy with the, the deja vu that looks like him? I did not realize his jawline was this sharp. It is. Sharp, 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 sharp. Now, is this a high school they're at? Or a set? I'm very curious because it has like graffiti everywhere. 
I mean, I know it's supposed to be like the aesthetic of like a delinquent type of situation with these with these images, but I wonder if they, they, they decorated the set. If you guys know of, if there's a behind the scenes video, let me know and link me below because I want to see, because I'm very interested. He has big old hands too. Come on, big old hands. He probably grabs the basketball with one hand like, doof, and holds it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Next image. Why did I got him looking so uncomfortable in this image? He is like, they could have at least had him like, because you know, like it's obviously it's chaos behind him, but he looks like he fell and they took a picture of him. Why they playing my guy like this? Why they playing? Also, I did not notice a different type of patch. I just zoomed in. There's a another shield, the A and the Z on on his jacket. I'm I like this one. I like this one more than the other one. The other patch. I like this way more. I want they sold these. These are that's cool. Next image. Okay, the one of the potential biases. This hair style. I don't know if I don't. I. It's not that I don't. I don't mind the bangs. It's the mullet clip-ins in the back. I'm not, well, I'm not sure they're clipped in, but like the long hair in the back, it it just looked different when it, when his hair was styled in that other style. You know what I mean? Like it just it gave more. This is giving me it, it's giving me clip-ins, and I'm and I can't unsee it. And I don't like that for me or him. I don't I don't want that for us. <laughs> Jesus, fix it. Next image. Okay, remember I said if his hair was like or quaffed up, I will be living for it. I'm living for it. I'm living for it. Yes, the other uh, other the hairstyle was fine before, but I just I for some reason how I was looking, I was just like, mm, uh, but here, top tier, top tier. I love that patch. Do you guys have that patch? Do they sell those? I like that patch a lot. Um, but anyways, the the I'm I'm into this. The language, the body, the body language, the spies, the whole nuts of the the thing, all of it. I, 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 I he's selling the delinquent vibe, and I'm, I'm, and I'm buying it. I'm buying it. Mm -hmm. Okay, last image. Okay, he's not giving me much so delinquent, but he is giving me. I'm going to be the class president. I am part of the gang. I'm part of the AT's gang. I'm going to be the face of the group to kind of keep us having a nice image. But like, I, I also get down low with everyone else. That's what he's giving me. That's his backstory. That is his backstory. All right, y'all. That's all the images I like to do at the end is pick out a favorite. And I think I did already. It's going to be homeboy. Seguan. Um, this image is stunning. I love this so much. I love this so much. This is immaculate. The makeup, the styling, the hair. 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, let me know which one is your favorite um, of all the concept photos. Who is your bias and why? Let me know that as well. I really want to know. Um, if there's any other concept photos from ATs you want me to check out, list it below. Um, now, if there's, you know, sometimes they have like different concepts per comeback. Let me know your favorite if they have multiple ones. If they have like a part A, part B, part C, let me know which one's your favorite so I can go through and see which one I would want to do. And if you enjoyed this video, again, like I said before, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.